Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the second uh, maiden uh, test of uh, the idea fly. You are going to laugh because there is no thing as a second uh, maiden flight. Well, uh, this is uh, actually a new test of the idea fly because I did uh, some uh, mods to it. Uh, I have replaced the motors, I have added FPV, uh, it's using the GitHub G2 with a 90 degrees non fisheye lens and it has had the internal uh, accelerometer uh, bench uh, reconfigured and uh, reinitialized. Also the gimbal was calibrated. I have here installed the FPV receiving monitor. So hopefully this uh, should turn into a very nice flight of this quad. So let's see how this uh, will go. So I'm going to power on the Git2 first. and start the recording I'm also going to power on the FPV monitor to see what I'm doing and I'm going to power on the video transmitter and I'm going to search for the channel We should have image right away. So there it goes. So get to it's in the menu. I'm going to exit. Right, so I'm going to start video recording. Camera is now recording. And I'm going to power on the quad. Let it initialize. Gonna also power on the transmitter. Gonna check the gimbal if it works. Yes, the gimbal works. So I'm going to pack up all the cables inside the battery bay. Let's see if they all could get in and hopefully close without a fight. Yes, that's perfect. So we get also green LED. That means that we have a GPS lock. So it's in position hold, normal mode. Camera is recording. Let's see if we can start the motors and motors are now idling all seems fine let's take it a bit up that should do it for now Uh, it was not in, uh, in a GPS lock, it was on uh, just altitude hold, so now it's in lock. I'm going to bring it closer. As you can see, the idea fly is extremely stable in the air. No movement whatsoever. And uh, from the looks of the FPV screen, it seems that the video image is also smooth. So let's take it for a bit of flight. Before uh, changing the motors, I had some uh, problems with it. It has some uh, really 
ugly vibrations and uh, they were uh, especially more pronounced when uh, doing uh, turns going left or right in some cases uh, they would have amplified in other cases uh, they would have stopped so uh, after a lot of uh, tests and uh, talking with some other people I have decided to replace the motors and it seemed that the original motors were uh, at fault uh, those were producing the problem and now it seems to have pretty smooth video This is a very nice uh, flyer for a beginner because it's very easy to control. It has acceptable range. You can easily add FPV on it. And uh, it has a very long flight time. Let's have a look around. And now I'm going to slowly decrease the altitude by flying it in kind of a large spiral. You don't want to drop the altitude too fast on uh, this kind of uh, birds because you can uh, potentially flip it over. FPV is working perfect. I'm using a small 200 milliwatts transmitter which only weights a few grams and it's uh, sticked on uh, the battery cover. As you can see here, that's the transmitter. The antenna is bigger than the transmitter, as you have seen. It's just a tiny transmitter, but gets the job done perfectly. No sense in carrying too large transmitters or too powerful, because 200 milliwatts with a good antenna does the job. And uh, it will uh, create less interference with other things. Even though Transmitters are on uh, 5.8 GHz. I'm talking about the video transmitters and the control frequency is 2.4 GHz. Having a too much powerful uh, video transmitter next to a receiver antenna or the receiver of the aircraft could potentially jam it. I have uh, had this problem on a racing quad. It couldn't uh, get more than uh, 200 meters before it was uh, going out of range. And uh, that was because of the video transmitter, which did some uh, interference with the receiver, making it uh, almost useless. So with a lower power uh, video transmitter, I didn't have that uh, problem. What the idea fly misses a lot, it's... Uh, telemetry you don't have any kind of idea if the battery is doing well or not the only thing you can do is look under its belly at the LED and if it's blinking green hopefully you can see it that means that it's all fine and it has plenty of power uh, that will start flashing uh, with uh, yellow when the battery is uh, getting low 
but uh, that's all that uh, you know about it. I'm thinking of uh, adding um, another uh, radio transmitter and a telemetry enabled receiver so you may know the voltage. That will be a nice addition to this board, but uh, I'll think if I'm going to do it or not. I'm glad that with the new motors it's uh, flying uh, nice. So let's land it now. No drama there, just perfect. And you can disable right away the motors from uh, for uh, stopping the idle if you keep on uh, pressing down. So when it lands, if you still hold the throttle stick down, it will turn off the motors. So that was the flight. Very nice with the new motors, very nice with the FPV monitor, with the camera, all seems fine. So this is one able bird. And I'm calling it able because it keeps the position very well and you can fly this over 20 minutes with a large 5000 3S battery. It's very economical and it flies a lot, it stays in the air, it has the two uh, axis gimbal which also works fine and it's easy to configure with almost any kind of uh, camera in a GoPro format. It uses the Git 2, absolutely brilliant. So, until next time, bye-bye.